ओके गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडेज वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन क्विकली कनेक्ट एन एंड्रॉयड ऐप विद फायर बेस फॉर पुश नोटिफिकेशन राइट सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू क्लिक प्रोजेक्ट एंड देन यू कैन चूज मेनी टेम्पलेट्स बट आई एम जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ सिंप्लिसिटी बिकॉज दिस प्रोजेक्ट दिस ऐप विल नॉट हैव much thing apart from that firebase connectivity so we'll, we'll just choose the empty activity give it a name uh, we'll give it, maybe give uh, pb fb uh, tut1 and rest are okay so i'll i'll finish it and then it will create all those things for you right so it's done it has created um, main activity and then there is uh, activity main.xml and main activity.java so next what you have to do is you have to to connect it to it um, firebase all you have to do is go to tool this has become very easy now uh, in 2021 and la last part of 2020 so all you have to do is you have to go to firebase and then uh, uh, you have to choose cloud messaging so there is cloud messaging set up firebase cloud messaging and then you have to follow this steps very simple <laughs> Uh, click on connect to firebase it will open up that uh, firebase console in web browser i have already logged in if you don't have logged in then it will ask for credential if you don't have credential then you can uh, create credential by signing up free account right so i'll say create project and it will by default take that name same name it's good to go and then say continue and then choose your country's name uh, i'll choose probably india Uh, where is India? Okay, and then you have to accept both these terms and condition. Without this, it will not pro proceed further. And then it will uh, start creating a project. And after uh, that is done, it will uh, allow you to connect your Firebase project with your Android project. so everything is automated completely automated seamlessly uh, integrated yeah it's done your project is ready let's go connect continue and then it will say would you like to connect so basically that's what it is coming up so it's a connect and as soon as you connect you will see that it is uh it is now connected right then add fcm to your app so that means uh, once it is connected you have to um, add uh, update some of these files gradles and all which was the kind of uh, little uh, difficult thing earlier because you have to do manually uh, no more the case it is automatic you all have to do is you have to do this click on this next step and then say accept change and it will update all the gradles for you done right now once that is done um, next thing what you have to do is you are uh, good to go your your um, your your fcm or uh, firebase is already integrated uh, but to send an message what you need is you need to create you need to get hold of the device registration token right and uh, that you have to uh, put it in your firebase console to send message of course that can be automated but that is the later stage and how to get the device registration token is through step number 3 but this step number 3 whatever mentioned over here is actually um, i don't like it or some, I, it somehow didn't work for me i think there is some dep some of the things are deprecated so what i normally do is i go here and then uh, i i i go to this link right so or what you can do is um firebase cloud messaging get device id you can search it and it will give you the uh, documentation so where is that uh, yeah i think this one there is the same page basically i'll i'll paste the uh, link to your description and if you see these things uh, this uh, this page from the starting there are many thing but you don't have to worry because all those things are automatically taken care right 
so now what all we need now is that you need to retrieve the current registration token so this step is required now so to do that what you have to do is you have to you have to copy these things and then paste it in your um, main activity dot java so all you have to do is you have to either copy it over here or you can say copy and go to your um, uh, android studio right and then uh, you you paste it over here so where you will paste is over here right you can space some gap over here and then it will show many things as red but don't worry all you have to do is you have to many of the things are actually importing the class so you have to do those importing so alt enter uh, okay that's fine so this tag is okay uh, let's see alt enter okay uh, again you have to enter it import class enter import class so it is automatic basically uh, you can import all those classes which are missing and those are pretty much all so now uh, you see those tag uh, essentially what it is telling is these are the tag uh, of this um, this is the tag and when you copy this uh, code this tag is written actually there is nothing like tag written on the code so all you have to do is you have to, you have to copy this thing and delete this complete line over here delete it and then what you will do is you paste that okay and also before pasting you just make sure that you have double quote right and as soon as you double quote it you will see that it will automatically um, put that as a tag it should put that as a tag okay Uh, there is some issue okay so let me let me try again why it is not allowing me to do that okay so yeah so well uh, let me see what is written over there so fetching epsim registration token okay so registration token register registration field right token registration field and uh, uh, okay so let me pause this. Okay, so I could figure out why there. Uh, I mean, I could not figure out, but what I could find out is that when you create a tag beyond certain length, it was showing that error. So the tag creation is pretty simple. All you have to do is double quote and then uh, instead of a big line, I just uh, making failed. So this is my tag. Uh, when uh, this um, when when the uh, we are not getting the token okay and uh, here also you have to uh, give a tag so what we'll do is we'll uh, delete this guy and again we'll create a tag in the same way okay 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 and and um, okay so we'll, we'll name it as uh, token again uh, token okay and here also we will use uh, token so 
uh, if you do that and then uh, one more thing you have to do is you have to uh, you have to uh, give that um, internet uh, option so basically you have to enable the internet option I just want to copy that line from here uh, here is my internet option available so, uh, let's just Uh, okay, let me search it. I am not expert in Android, so uh, Android uh, manifest internet permission. Yeah, so you have to, you have to give that. Uh, so let me go here. So this is the permission you have to give. So you have to copy this line and then you have to go back to your uh, uh, here and um, manifest here and then you have to paste it over here. Okay. So with that um, it should work fine. So let's uh, now after we did that let me run the emulator again and if everything goes well then uh, we should see that token generated okay so let's play it okay so to see that whether it is generating the token or not what we can do is we can search by the name of token because if you see that we have given the tag here as token so my uh, my token should be i'll search all the line where the token will be there so it is it is the old one let me just delete this one and still not there okay what we'll do is um, we'll restart this app okay so if you see that we'll now stop that app this um, and this one should close by now very soon and we can restart this app again Uh, still it is saying service not available so basically service not available means it is uh, it is not getting that internet uh, service to have the token okay so what you can do is I try let me make it like this let me make it like this and uh, let me stop again let me kill those session rather okay now let me rerun this app see now we have the token and also if you see it over here you should see that token uh, your terminal as well but don't know why we are unable to see that uh, it should be available over here so let's see the token but so it should be tagged with the token oh okay I think there is 
so it will be tagged with M msg because i have so i have mistakenly typed as a tag as a msg and name of the token tag is token uh, that's how you'll see that this is the token actually i should have changed it like this or maybe i'll make it capital t o k e n now if i read on this app stop this and start it again and i have to change this and now i have to change it to token t o k e n you see that now this same token is generated over here so you could successfully generate the token for our device now next task is to use this token and send and push notification to this app right so for that what we'll do is we'll keep this app minimize otherwise it will not work for the first um, uh, step i mean first instance what we are trying to there is a way to make it work all the time but for now let's make it simple keep it simple so what we'll do is we'll go to your firebase console uh, where is my Firebase console? Go to console and go to your project. So this is your project. And then what you do is you go to cloud messaging and um, then send your first message and give it a name. Maybe say hello. Hello world 20 sorry and maybe messages well come to 2021 okay and then you can say send test message and here you have to add your device token so i have copied that device token here oh so i have not copied so let me copy it so let me copy this token and let me paste it here and say press this button and then say test and if everything goes well then you should see that um, okay so i have not sent the test message so i can say Okay, I think it should have gone by now if everything was okay. Let's see. Okay, choose the app. Uh, next. Okay, review. And say publish. Now there is something wrong. We did not get any message of this right so let me check the uh, token again so this is a token okay should work don't know why it is not working okay so now if i go back to my console new notification say hello and hello 2021 send test notification maybe i'll delete this one just to make sure my token is correct and add and set test
I think I am missing something in that um, uh, in that uh, manifest part. So just let me check once. Oh, everything was right actually. Uh, I just uh, could not see the message. So let let me run again and uh, run the app and there is the same token so there is no change in the token i will hopefully get the same token here as well so you'll see that token is same now if i minimize this app and now if i make this window side by side and let's say new notification and let's say hello three because there is a third attempt hello three two zero two one and send test message and we'll use the same token here right we'll use the same token there is something over here okay now let's say test and uh, now next we choose the app and say review and say publish it's little slow over internet last time I observed after sometimes it it came over there so let's wait maybe a few minutes mm, based on the internet of course Nothing has came, nothing has come yet. Yeah, sometimes there's a real demo moment. I hope my connection is okay. And my app is running, hopefully. Okay, app is there. So. Uh, okay, so should I let me yet Okay, let me. Okay, so I just um, uh, deleted all those uh, all those um, data on this emulator, and then I restarted the same emulator. Now seems to be there was some lag. So let's uh, and then I tried sending another message, and it was going fine. So let me create again. Hopefully, I will be able to show this slide this time. High five. 
right high five and say next choose the app and send it so you see that your message came here and is high five right so um, this is the first part actually very simple but I um, I was stuck some for some of the places because of two reason as I said I am not expert of Android uh, my aim is to connect it with AWS uh, SNS and then finally use it for my but I hope you get some idea and it's it's super easy and thanks for watching in the next um, part I will show you how to connect it with AWS SNS uh, to your app thanks